In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add affiliate links to your content on your WordPress website. I've got a couple of ways of doing it, a manual way and uh, an automatic sort of way using plugins. So let's get started. Always Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Um, I'm wearing a shirt today. Makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm normally looking quite scruffy in my t-shirt, but I'm going out for lunch, so put a shirt on. But anyway, in this video, I want to go back to basics and show you how to add affiliate links to your content on your WordPress website. I'm going to show you two ways. First way is going to be a manual way, uh, where we're going to be copying and pasting links from our merchants into our content. Uh, and then the second way, I'm gonna show you a couple of plugins, one you're probably familiar with, uh, WooZone, and another one which is called Content Egg, which allows you to pull in affiliate products from all sorts of different places and easily add them to your pages and your posts on your WordPress website. So, let's get on the computer, that computer, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about, let's go. Okay, so the first way I'm gonna show you is a manual way, where you basically generate a tracking URL or a tracking link from the merchant that you're looking to promote and then you just copy and paste it into a piece of content on your WordPress website. Now I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is an affiliate website that I set up a little while ago. You can find out how I did it in one of my previous videos. Uh, it's quite a long video, but it shows you exactly how I created this site. Uh, you'll find links to the, the videos that I mentioned in the description or I'll put a card up or something, so hopefully you'll be able to find it. So what this article here, which is all about Ugg Boots, and it hasn't got any links on it right now, and for the purpose of this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link straight off to the merchant. Um, I could, of course, link to um, products on my own site. So on this site, I do have uh, a load of Ugg boots, which are affiliate products, but um, that was just confusing. So yeah, I'm just gonna link off to um, the Ugg boots on Amazon. I think I'll use Amazon, because that's a good example. Uh, I'll show you, actually, I'll show you affiliate window as well, uh, which is another, um, affiliate network. But let's start with Amazon. So the best way to do it is to go over to the Amazon that you're signed up to as an affiliate. I am an affiliate on amazon.co.uk. If you're not already signed up as an affiliate, you're gonna to need to do that. So you just scroll down to the bottom of Amazon or the site that you're looking to promote and you should find an affiliate section. So um, for Amazon, it's down here and uh, I can't actually see it. How strange. So, no, it could be because my Amazon has switched to a business account, um, which is a bit annoying. So, I'm just gonna Google it. Amazon, it's called Amazon Associates. On your your Amazon, you should find a link in the footer, but mine's gone, I don't know why. So it's come up there in Google. So you'd come over here and you'd click join now for free and fill in the forms, and then you're ready to start promoting Amazon. Okay, so I've already done that. Oh, let me just go back to Amazon. And when you signed up and you are approved as an affiliate, you get this uh, kind of site stripe across the top of Amazon, which is uh, kind of cool, gives you um, access to your earnings and all that kind of thing. But what you can also do is you can go to a page. So let me go to Ugg Boots. So here is a page of Ugg Boots. Another way to do it would be to go through the categories. So you'd go into departments and Man, there's so many departments on um, on Amazon, isn't there? Let's go to full shop directory, and then you'd find uh, clothing, or whatever you are, you're kind of promoting, which I can't quite see. Um, clothes, here we go. So let's go into women, and then we'd go into uh, women's shoes and boots, and then there might be a Ugg page, uh, Ugg boot page even. Uh, feature brands, let's have a look, see more. You. There we go, Ugg Australia. That's another way to do it, so I may want to link through to this page. Um, so to do that, I go up to the site stripe across the top, click text, and here is my affiliate link. So now I just need to add that to my content. So if I click on it and then copy it to my clipboard, I'll just press Control C there. 
go back to my piece of content, then go to edit the post. And then I might want to add a link somewhere in the text. So maybe this bit here that says Ugg Boots. I then click the little chain to add a link, paste the link in, click apply. Now you may want it to open in a new tab. If you do, then just click the edit button, click on the little cog and click open in a new tab. Let's click update. And then if I view the post, there's my link off to the Amazon Uggboots page. Let's click it just to check. So if someone clicks on that link and then makes a purchase, um, I'll get paid a commission. Now with Amazon, you can link through to wherever you like. So you might want to link through to a specific product. Again, just go to the page. You've got your options across here. You can add a text link, an image link, a text and image link. You simply just click on what you want and then uh, copy and paste the code. So say I wanted to add an image, I'll just copy all of that. Go back to my uh, post. And say I wanted to slot it in here, just paste. Aha. You're going to need to switch to text edit for it to work. So see up there, there's a little uh, tab switcher. Switch to text, paste it in. And then if you go back to visual, there it is, that's working. Now, if anyone clicks on that image, they'll go through to Amazon and see that product. And then again, if they purchase it, I'll get paid a commission. So that's Amazon. Now I'm also signed up with affiliate window. It's Awin. I think it's Awin. Yeah, Awin.com. Now on here they've got a whole load of different shops. So once you're signed up, you can then apply to be an affiliate for lots of different merchants. So one that I'm signed up for I know is Foot Asylum. I think it's Foot Asylum. This one. And they've got some boots on here. Now with Affiliate Window, they give you a cool little uh, Chrome plugin with this thing here. So I can generate tracking links using this. It also give me a voucher, which is pretty cool. But I can find the product I want, so let's go into Boots and see if they've got UGG. Oh, I don't think they have. Ah, uh, well, that's gonna ruin this example. But I could, for example, link to a Timberland boot for whatever reason, this lovely pink one here. So I find the products I want, go up to my little um, plugin, whatever Chrome extension, click generate tracking link. Then it's this link here, which you can click uh, on the shorten button to make it a little bit more friendly. You copy that and you go back to your content again, click edit post. And then you, I'm gonna just add something random at the bottom here. If you don't like Ugg boots, you might like a pink Timberland boot. You probably wouldn't do that because that doesn't make any sense, but you get the idea. <laughs> uh, then I'm just gonna highlight that again, click the chain, paste it in, click the cog, make it open in a new tab, click update, and there we go. So basically that's how it works, and it's obviously gonna vary depending on who you're promoting, um, but generally they'll give you an easy way to generate these links that you then add into your content. So that's the first way, that's a manual kind of insertion of links. The next way is to use a plugin. And I'm gonna quickly show you a couple of plugins. So this site is running a plugin called WooZone. I will put links again up to these in the cards and below. They may be affiliate links if you use them, thank you very much, because these are paid for plugins. Now WooZone, um, the first uh, use of WooZone is to create a WooCommerce sort of store and add products that way. So let me just show you how that works if you're not familiar with this site. So you basically download pl uh, products into your site using uh, WooZone and WooCommerce and they look like this. And it kind of gives the impression that you're like an e-commerce site. And then um, people can select their options and add to cart. And then when they check out, if I click check out, they then get redirected off to Amazon. And if they make a purchase, um, there we go, if they make a purchase, you get your commission. Now that's a, it's a good way of doing it, um, to import products. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because as I say, I've got a video, uh, a detailed video on how to do all this. But you go into WooZone and you go to uh, import. And then you can do a little search, you know, brown, Ugg boot. 
and it uses the Amazon API. So you're yeah, kind of talking to Amazon directly to get all the product information. It's gonna take a couple of moments. Let's see what it comes back with. And there we go, you get your products there and then you just come down here and you can click import. It brings them in, adds them to your shop and off you go. So that's one way of doing it and say check out my other videos for more details on that. The other feature of WooZone is that it allows you to add them straight to a page or post. So I'll go back to this how to wear Ugg boots one. And uh, you know, I might wanna add some black leggings here. Get some black leggings. And I've got this little add products button, which Ruzone has kindly added. And then this pops up and you can then add products. And I've just realized I haven't got any black leggings on my site, so that's not gonna make any sense. But you know, I could just select this boot here, click add products. There we done. Actually, you can add an ASIN, which is um, the code from Amazon. So if I just go over to Amazon, let's just second and do a search for black leggings. These look good. Not that I know much about black leggings. You find the ASIN, which would be down here. So it's a good way of doing it if you haven't already added the product to your site using WooZone, paste it in, click update. Then if we scroll down, there's our leggings. Um, so that's quite nice. So the final way I'm gonna show you, I just need to go over to another site which I'm working on, it's not ready yet. But in the process of making it, I have discovered another great plugin for inserting affiliate links. This site I'm currently working on, I'm gonna be doing a full length tutorial on exactly how I made this site very soon. But obviously first I need to <laughs> make it and um, work out exactly how everything works. But this is running the plugin uh, Content Egg. Let me show you what it looks like in the back end. Now Content Egg allows you to connect to many, many different affiliate programs. Uh, you obviously need to sign up first, so you need to go over to Amazon sign up, go over to Affiliate Window sign up, go over to you know whoever else you wanna promote and sign up. Once you've done that, if you go into Content Egg, which is down here, let me just show you the settings. In here you can see all the different affiliate um, programs that it supports, and as I say, you just literally uh, fill in the details, you get your product keys and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and off you go. And then when you are working on a page or post, let me just show you one I've got set up. This is like a review best deal sort of pro, uh, post that I'm working on, um, which looks really good. But then it kind of pulls in all the different uh, retailers. You can add the ones you want by going into edit post. And there's loads of ways that you can actually display the information. You don't have to have it in a, in a table like this. You can just insert links or um, there's all sorts of different ways. But it's a really, really cool way of uh, yeah, putting products into posts. So it adds this box down here. And you can even kind of search a specific merchants. So there's my affiliate window. You can add stuff manually. There's another one, big link. Um, so you kind of enter a keyword. So I want to search for an Adidas Gazelle trainer. And it searches across like, all of them. It includes Amazon as well. So. If you have this, you don't need the WooZone plugin I just mentioned. It takes a few moments just to go off. Though for some reason my internet is running quite slow today. Okay, that one's not working, don't know why. Adidas is there, then you can just kind of tick the one, sorry, Amazon is here, you just kind of click the ones you wanna add. Uh, nothing found on Viglink. I'm not sure I've got that one working yet, but you get the idea. So you can yeah, pull in products from all sorts of different affiliate programs. Uh, if I click update, these ones that I've just added, this girl's one <laughs> and whatever, I'll remove them in a minute. But just for this example, let's have a look. Okay, let's click view post. Uh, they're the Amazon ones there, and if we scroll down, it's kind of added them to this table as well. Um, I said there's loads of different layouts. I'm using a special theme as well uh, that works really well with the content egg, but I think it will work with any any theme fine. 
So that's it, that's the examples of how you can add your affiliate links to your WordPress website. Well, I hope you found that video useful and you're now clear in your mind how you're gonna be adding affiliate links uh, to your WordPress website. If you've got any questions or comments or anything really, just leave it below and I'll do my best to try and respond to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then please do click on the little eagle up there to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I do upload. And here is another video from the channel, which hopefully you're gonna like. And also, if you've got some time, why not check out my other channels up there is Alex Cooper, which is all about me and vlogging and business and all that kind of stuff. And there is Iris Alex, which is my gaming sort of channel. Anyway, until next time, bye for now.